Uh, welcome to Broadcast Show. Uh, yet again, I've got Mike here with Workstation yeah. Specialist. Hi, Mike. Uh, over the past few weeks, we've been going on about all the different components that you need to build a proper digital video workstation with Mike. Um, and so we've covered CPU, memory, graphics, and storage. And uh, now I think it's time to have a look at what happens when you put these together correctly yeah. and the sort of different specs of machine you can get. Yeah, different. So yeah, it's always, over the last few weeks, we've been discussing, obviously, the main sort of differences between different sorts of components. Yeah. So what we've got here is sort of side-by-side -side comparison test. Um, this machine here um, is running a sort of standard Intel. Um, it's a Core i7 6 core. Yep. So it's not the current sort of bleeding edge, but yep. it's still very high end. It's, yep. the, uh, it's the Core i7 980, which runs at 3.33 gigahertz. Um, this machine is configured with 24 gigabytes of RAM. Yep. Um, it's got six cores, 12 threads. Um, it's running a solid state hard drive and a yep. large capacity storage drive, and it has mid-range graphics. Yep. Retail price on something like this is probably going to be in the region of about 15, 1600 yep. pounds. Um, and it's not a bad spec system, no. but it's not been specially configured for video. Yep. Um, this machine on the left-hand side, this is a completely different sort of beast. Um, so this machine has the Intel Xeon CPUs. Yep. So this is the latest E5 model. So it's right. the 2687W, that their top-end model. Yep. Um, it's got a lot more CPU cores at 16 physical cores, 32 yep. threads. And this machine is configured with 32 gigabytes of RAM. The memory runs quad channel on here versus yeah. triple channel on here. Right. This is DDR3 1600 megahertz. This is DDR3 1333 megahertz. Yeah. But the hard disk subsystem, solid state again, but a slightly yeah. faster solid state drive. Yeah. And this has got rated hard drives. Right. So raw performance on data sort of read write yeah. speed is much higher. This machine's around the five and a half thousand yeah. pound mark. Um, but obviously based on raw performance, you know, yeah. it has a, a, a far substantial sort of performance gain. Yeah. Um, so what we've going to sort of I like the main differences, if you want to sort yep. of take control oh, of this one, sure. um, is literally just to start, um, this machine, both identical scenes, yes. um, just some brief footage, it's 1080p um, it video, a yep. couple of um, video effects, yep. um, so nothing complicated really, no. um, and we're literally just going to load up, um, this is encoding out H.264, yep. 720, 25 frames, yep. so it's obviously doing a lot more than just yeah, so it's reducing it from 1080p down to 720p yep. as well as encoding. Um, okay. And if we do 3, 2, 1, so, so same encoding. Yep. Um, this machine's not bad, it's estimating it around the sort of the three minute mark. Yep. Um, but this machine's coming in at sort of one and a half minutes or less. Or less, which yeah. is considerably faster. Considerably faster. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to say when you're doing H.264 encoding as well, that it's, it's quite a processor intensive yeah. codec. I mean, I can go back out into Premiere now. Yeah. I mean, this machine, it's not even using all the CPU cores. Yeah. Um, so I can go back out. Um, I can start doing some 3D rendering in the background. Yeah. Um, I can load up After Effects. Yeah. Um, I can still do some hard disk tests. Yeah. Um, and this machine is still quite happily responding. Yeah. Um, giving respectable scores for the rendering as well in the background. Yeah. Um, and essentially, then, you know, we've got, you can do elsewhere, email. Yep, absolutely. Um, and then essentially then this machine is still doing it um, in you know a lot, lot quicker. Yeah, so, so estimated time on the right at the moment, if you can't see it, it's two minutes and on the yeah, other so it's finished the render, um, is uh, one minute. And yeah. it's been it's also done this disk speed test and the, the three D render in the background from, as well. Yeah. In the background. So Yeah. So it's a, a huge Yeah, I mean it's a big increase. price increase, obviously sure. granted. Um, but I say um, when you work out the amount of time or money you could yeah. save in that time saving, then it does make a yeah. compelling message I mean, why the correct spec is, is worth the investment. Yeah, I mean, I know from experience that you can you can set something in coding and that's it, your machine is yeah. out of action. Yeah. For go the, and get a coffee, here. go yeah, back, yeah, you can't even do email or do anything. Yeah. This machine says it's completely, it's fully usable for other intensive tasks as well. Yeah, um, yeah. and obviously this is a short six minute yeah, video, six but you know, a lot of people are outputting um, 30 longer. minute, an hour exactly. long, yeah. so and the, then you would really yeah. notice time, the time is money, so yeah, essentially yeah, the speed increase you see, you know, it, yeah. it, it obviously just scales up very well with the more complex. So they put yeah. on more visual effects as well. Yeah. Um, again, you could change and, and make the encode more complex yeah. as well. So this machine's just about to come to an end. Yeah. So, so if we go to the overhead, you can see the one on the left, you can just about see it. Yeah, I'm watching it now, it is just about finished, and that is done, including all the extra operations we did the encode and the disk test and the rendering and the well. one on the right, which, as you say, is not a low spec it's machine. Not it's not a bad a good machine, spec machine, but obviously it's still um, trailing behind quite a respectable score of three minutes. Yeah. But it's still going. It's still another minute. Yeah. I mean, that could be ten minutes, could be fifteen minutes. Yeah. That's every day, every yeah. week, every year. You know, so it, it yeah. all amounts up. So. so it just goes to show you that putting the right components in for the right job is very important. Yes. Which is obviously what you guys. It's all, that's all we do. So. Yeah. It's all. Um, 
Now, if people want to talk to you about uh, specking up a system, uh, particularly for digital video, yep. um, I'm assuming they can go to your website, which is on the link here. Uh, and Twitter, because I'm always trying to remember, is at W Specialist. At W Specialist. Mike, brilliant. No um, if you want to talk to Mike or his team, uh, their contact details are all on their website, which is still on the link below me there. And of course, Twitter at W Specialist. Uh, everything that we're doing is on our website, of course, which is broadcastshow.com slash live. Make sure you subscribe to the feeds. Uh, that's it from me and Mike for these uh, shows. Plenty more coming up on Broadcast Show, uh, so keep track on the website. We'll see you next time.